And finally, Pisces. Thanks for your patience. If you have been waiting, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, here is your September reading. Although, as I say again and again, these readings are not really time specific. Occasionally, I'll talk about the current transits, but you could be listening to this in January 2023, March 2023, August, whatever. May or may not resonate. Uh, Starting a new thing. Tarot audio. You can hear the cards, but you can't see them. That may be uncomfortable for people who are accustomed to seeing everything. You see the cards, you see the candles, the crystals, or you see the person on the webcam or whatever. I've done it every way you can do it. I mean, I've done numerous videos where I'm showing my hands and I'm showing myself shuffling the cards and I've done... Numerous readings on the webcam. You can see my face. You can see my wigs that I bought at Party City and uh, Spirit or on Amazon, whatever. But so far, this way feels best energetically because I'm not focused on the visuals. I'm just focused on the cards. And I feel like that makes for a more coherent, lucid message. Uno mas. Bueno. We have to a sword, those the espadas, the hermit, el ermitaño, the sun, el sol. Oh, the five of wands, cinco de bastos, knight of swords, bayo de espadas, and six of pentacles, seis de oros. Okay. Interesting. Because nothing dominates here oh we have two two and two we have two air cards the two of swords the knight of swords we have two earth cards the hermit virgo six of pentacles and we have two fire cards the sun leo and five of wands so you're feeling neglected you're feeling like you're not being seen you're not being heard you're not being felt. You're not being understood. Because you're not showing up at all in these six cards. There's no Pisces here. You know. There's no water. And there are no seven. Seven is the number of Neptune Pisces. So you feel like your needs are not being met. That's what I would get from these six cards. Um, if you are in a relationship. Or a connection. You feel like you're dealing with someone who is very selfish, very self-absorbed, and they aren't really meeting you. They're not showing up emotionally. They're not showing you warmth, sensitivity. They're being very... Cold. They're being very um, selfish is what I'm getting. My God, what are you getting out of this? Microaggressions, drama, conflict, misunderstandings, block, unblock. This person has a very pronounced ego. They're all awash an ego a possible astral combo for this person they could have sun in Gemini Leo rising moon in Taurus that's one possibility of many I'm going to do this I'm going to clarify each row I've not done that for all of the signs a lot of the signs I I didn't need to clarify but I need to clarify these Please clarify two of swords over five of wands, one card. Yeah, that person is really fucking ambitious regarding their fucking lawn. Uh, They've been at it for over an hour now. So, I don't know. Is there any grass left at this point? I mean, come on now. 
Come on. Okay. We have the tower, La Torre. I feel like this person is just going through some shit in their life. It may have nothing whatsoever to do with you. And they're not treating you very well because they are frazzled as fuck. Please clarify the Hermit over Knight of Swords one card. It'll be interesting. After I upload this, after I upload the videos to Canva and upload to YouTube and all that, um, I'm going to peek out the window blinds here and see what this fucking yard looks like. I mean, it must be spectacular. They're going to have this yard featured in Architectural Digest or some shit. They don't focus on landscaping and Architectural Digest, do they? Don't they focus on the actual architecture? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, so to clarify the Hermit over Knight of Swords, we have the Ace of Swords. This person's being very terse and tacky in their communication. They're being very dismissive. Please clarify the Sun over Six of Pentacles, one card. Southern Living. That's a magazine my mom got in the 80s. Southern Living. These southern homes with their floral decor. It wasn't always floral, but there was a lot of floral decor in Southern Living. And pecan pie recipes. That was just never really my thing. Nine of Cups, maybe the Copas. Well, the song that I'm hearing is Janet Jackson's What Have You Done For Me Lately because I really don't see how your nine cups your nine dream Disney cups are being filled in this in this fuck mess you may have this person on a pedestal there may be some projection you're seeing your idolized version of this person but you're not seeing this person as they really are because they're showing up like an asshole to be really blunt to be really crude to be really crass um they're not showing up with sensitivity or warmth uh i'm thinking of so many examples and i don't want to really talk about them but the stereotype that comes to mind is um, one of those housewives from the 50s, or at least the way you see them portrayed in movies and in sitcoms like Leave It to Beaver or Father Knows Best. Okay, Father Knows Best. So you defer to the man's authority. Not to get on a feminist rant here, but... And maybe this person's non-binary and you're non-binary. Or maybe you're a man and you're interested in another man. Or you're a man interested in whatever, whatever the gender is. Uh, usually, just going by the feedback that I get, statistics, all of that. Usually it's a woman watching for a man. But not always. What I'm seeing here is you have given this person power and control. And you're deferring to them. Whatever you want. You're letting them control the narrative. You're letting them run things. You're letting this person run the ball. You're putting all of your trust in this person, but what they give you just seems so minimal. I don't see how you're being gratified. I do not see how you're being gratified by this. What do you want? What do you really want? Why are you dependent on this person for your happiness? I don't feel like they're really seeing you. They're not really acknowledging you. They're not honoring you. They're not respecting you. And that's problematic. That is what I see for Pisces. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. Thanks so much for listening. Peace out.